Hello everyone, welcome back to another Game Post Mortem. I'm Test Hatter, as usual, and uh, today I'm going to be looking at a game which, once again, it's not really a game, just like the last game we played. So it's also surprisingly the first person shooter involving Q people, but this one is called uh, Total Havoc. Total Havoc is what it's called. It doesn't. It was never released in any capacity. Cube Dudes, I think, was released, but I took it down. But this game was never released, and um, it's interesting because I think I made this game like a year after I made, started making Cube Dudes, and it's interesting because I think this game a lot more has like evolved within that time period. So it's interesting to see just what I have learned over that time. Like, first things first, we have physical weapons that you can go up and pick. Like, goddamn, there's a lot of weapons. Doesn't look amazing. Oh, I picked up the wrong one. And we have animation. Animations too. I'm picking up all these weapons. So we got just a pistol. These little dudes. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's actually dead. Wow, that's some interesting stuff. They, they, these um, characters have interesting... I'm going to turn up the volume just a bit for you all. Because it is very quiet. There we go. So, let's turn down the teeny bit again, there we go, oh. Alright, so, yeah, we got some, and, oh, I, I actually have weapon slots on that I can select. So I can pick up Sniper, um, I can't scope. It's very, very high up. Um, let's pick up a different weapon. We've got so many weapons to look at, um, I don't know if I'll look at all of them, but I'll definitely try my best to show a few. So we've got a spear. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, I'm actually somewhat impressed a little, I guess. Can I... Oh, he's dead. I like these ragdoll... These guys ragdoll on death, which is... I think it just spawns a different game object. But it's still neat. It's still kind of neat. Um, I got a lot of weapons here. A lot of weapons. We've got a flintlock, which... I like they reload as well. Are oh, they all have unique? I think, and you can reload with R. This is this has no reload. A laser shotgun. It's just a shotgun that. It's a laser shotgun. There you go. Um, got a bomb <laughs> with a very fiddly rope physics. That killed me. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh. Okay, I have to restart the scene. Okay, it changes the light, so I'll just restart the scene like this. I'm in the Unity editor because there was never ever never any builds made for this, so I can die in this game. I can actually perish. Wow. Is that that's a nuke. We have ourselves a nuke, ladies and gents. <laughs> you can tell I had a lot of fun making this game. You can tell. Uh, that's good. I think I just made this, like, I'm, I'm gonna be, be telling the truth here. I think I made this, like, in the middle of lessons at school, I sh when I shouldn't have been. Like, I distinctly remember making this in, like, computer science. Part of the reason why I failed computer science for a while, but I eventually got better at it. Funny that I was, like, slacking off in computer science by doing coding. Uh, but that's just how it works. Okay, we straight have got... We just got Demo Man TF2 in this game, huh? Wow. Oh! That guy. <laughs> that guy he exploded, exploded. Oh, ran out of ammo there. So there's no ammo packs, you just run out of shots and then you have to do a new one. Oh! Little chests. So the chests return. The chests have returned from that. And an AK. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I, there's a lot of weapons in this. And they all function very differently. Oh, wow, we just got an Aura Aura Barrage. He's dead. Ball bearing crossbow. Doesn't go very far at all. Um, oh, I, I already picked up a sword, right? No, I went. So that's, a, that's one problem. It just seems to sort of. Already immediately, like, I knew how to animate at this point, obviously, so things just look a little nicer. It's not perfect, don't get me wrong, but in comparison to cube dudes, this is, this is some high art stuff. Can I cut off 
the head. I I would did not that slash, okay. Um, something did catch my eye over here. There are actually levels for this game, kinda, uh, like sandbox areas. This isn't the only thing in it, so stick around. So we've got a golden shotgun. A... I want the golden revolver, and... Okay, that's the one problem. And a golden AK. Does this... I'm guessing it's just like more damage or something? I just realized there's a little minimap at the top, very tiny, like very, very much a little minimap. Um, let's just, ooh. Okay, hold on, we got some interesting stuff here. Um, a ray gun? That's a ray gun, I guess. Um, I want, oh god, this is just horrible. I want this cube gun. Blockbuster. Oh, did I name it for the pun? Is there any enemies? There is a guy. These aren't enemies, these are just civilians. Um, what does it do? It's not that interesting. <laughs> nice reload. But yeah, I think I was like starting to learn how to do objects and classes at this point. So that's why there's like, there's a lot of like variations in weapons like this. And I'm guessing this is like the same thing. But like they have different values. Yeah, they're probably like inherited stuff. So that's neat. It's pretty neat. Let's just end this with a good old... <laughs> Good old nuke. Jesus. Okay, um, let's check out a different scene. Let's check out a different scene. You can see this horrible layout. So there's a big city and there's a castle. Oh, that loaded real quick. I'm used to things taking a while now. But no, we got this. So we got a... I don't know what that was, but we're in the big city. Oh, this guy's got a gun! Can I take it from him? Or do I have to, like, kill him and then take it? There's guys with guns everywhere. This is... All right. Hello, Mr. Hot Dog Guy. <gasps> nice. So this guy just died. Did I did like a bullet ricochet off him? Can I pick this up? <gasps> Stop sign. So there was, this guy's just dead, huh? Was it that thing that went by? Did it just come through? That scared me more than it probably should have. Okay, um... Say it's a big city, but there's like three buildings. I'm gonna take one of these. Can I? Do these guys fight back? I mean, you could call this fighting back, I guess. Um, if you call duplicating yourself a million times a second fighting back, then yeah, you could say that. I'm gonna just exit the scene there. I think Unity might have crashed. Oh no, no, okay. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna explore these building areas because there might be more. I know that the castle area has like the most stuff, so if you're interested in seeing that more than this, skip ahead. I'll probably timestamp it at the bottom, but you'll be missing out on the cool stuff like that. Oh, this guy has... No, he has, he's backwards. He's backwards. Okay. I, I'm guessing it's like an arms dealer? Can I just... I'm just gonna... Uh, we're killing you. I'm getting a null reference exception, so I'm guessing he's unkillable, essentially. But we've got a bunch of weapons to choose here. Um, let's, go with, let's go with the trifecta, I guess. This game's mean. I guess I really just wanted to make a fun sandbox game. Because I, at this point, I think I was playing a lot of crappy Unity sandbox games and going, I want to make that. I shouldn't kill that guy. I should not kill that guy. And, and like, this was my attempt at it. If I remember correctly, I even like enabled Unity collab for this game, uh, in which it's basically like you can share the game files directly with other people at the same version of Unity, and they can edit and send stuff over. And I think that was <laughs> that was what was going on. And. Like, I think a few weapons may have been made by friends. I couldn't tell you which ones, though, because I just straight up don't remember. I just do not remember. I think someone just got killed by the thing that goes by. So that's possible. It's pretty mean, but it's possible. I see something clipping through here. Is that just the other side of the... Yeah, okay, it is. That's all that is. Also, these guys, I think they're using, like, nav meshes, which is interesting. I knew how to do nav meshes by this point. Cool. 
Oh, that guy died up there from it. Interesting. Okay, uh, enough of this scene. Let's go look at the, the big one. Um, castle. The map castle. Ah. What's that? Okay, so. Immediately there's a little more going on here. Immediately. I think I was actually planning on adding, like, side quests and stuff. Okay, so this one's all... All to do with... Okay, that guy just died. Um, all to do with, like, medieval stuff. <gasps> is that a bomb bow and arrow? <gasps> it, it sure is! <laughs> it causes them to multiply, like, millions of times, but sure. It says a lot of people. There's stuff up there. I think there's an outside. Like, this is a... It doesn't look like it, but this is a gate. Um, but yeah, anyway, I was... Oh, what was I saying? Um... I think I was planning on, like, adding missions, and one of the missions for this area was going to be to defend this middle section, like, that red orb from oncoming enemies, and I think there's, like, zombies out here? There's a green dude over there. Um, not much. Actually, let's, let's make this interesting. So, is there a zombie enemy prefab? There is. There is indeed. Zombie body. So that's the corpse. So if I spawn a bunch of like these guys, just place them in the scene. Well, yes. The oh my god, the guards fight them. I didn't expect that at all. That's like the last thing I thought would happen. I didn't mean to do that. I can respawn on this map as well. Oh. There's a bunch of just dead people. I might to end this video, I might just spawn a horde of zombies and just see how everyone fares against it. But for now, let's just uh, let's just take time to explore this. I'll like timestamp that if I do it. Jesus! <laughs> they actually get launched. The uh, the. Toon shader doesn't work very well with edges with sharp points to them, so that's why there's, it looks very, very rough. Um, what is this, a shop? What are you selling? Just more weapons, okay. The sword and the shield there, I don't really need them. <laughs> Another hot dog guy, does he have a shotgun? He has a double barrel shotgun! Which I think functions the same. I'm not sure why there's a shotgun in the medieval map, but I'll take it. Also, these spell books don't work very well. I'm keeping the bomb bow and arrow. Um, ooh. Oh, just regular bombs. Oh, wait, it launches the weapons as well. Um, arrow rifle. Is that what it's called? That door just freaked out. Is this this is an automatic rifle shoot bow and arrow shooter? Okay. Let's throw a bomb. I wanna see what that door does. That thing not exp oh. Okay. It does actually blow back the door, which is interesting. That's pretty cool. The lighting goes berserk when the bomb gets exploded. Um I believe a shotgun. I'm taking the bomb bow though. I think that's funnier. Uh, ball bearing. Well, we've seen that already. This guy's just dead. What's in here? Is it just more of the same? Oh, there's a knight in here. Okay. Uh, oh, these are weapon melee weapons. Can I? That uh, just kills him. He doesn't even have like more health than the average person. He just he's wearing armor, but he just died from that. Oh. That could have killed me. Wait, am I recording? I am good. Just thought I'd check that. Ooh, we've got a bookstore. Hello, good sir. Uh, so it's, it's, there's only two. There's only two types of bombs. Uh, books, even. That's the last one I wanted to get. That's shotgun. And I think the game froze. So Unity did crash. Fantastic! Yeah, great. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, so let's just, let's just keep going. Uh, we didn't really lose much. The guards are still here, so we can just do that. 
last thing we wanted to do at the end. Um, ooh, we got more weapons here. And just regular bow and arrows, some crossbows, a fire tome. That's what I was trying to pick up. Oh, this one actually works. This one works. It's not very... It just goes forever, though. That's interesting. I'm... Where's my health gone? Did I... Did I take fall damage? Do I take fall damage in this game? Did I actually code fall... Fall damage? Or did I just, like, walk into my own spell or something? If I jump from here... You can take fall damage in this game. Wow. I'm somewhat impressed that I bothered to do that. So that area is over there is just empty. Um, just uh, oh the bomb no ball bearing that just kills them. Um, if I shoot this at a guard, he will attack me. Wow! They get hostile if you attack them. I'm surprised they do that as well. I do wonder if it would be worth making something like this just for fun. Because this is there's a lot going on here, I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised by this little thing. It just needs to be like, you know, like a gameplay loop of sorts. Or just stuff to do. Because currently I'm just running around, there's nothing here. These guys are still chasing me. There is something here though, what have we got? This guy's selling weapons? Got a crossbow. Oh. Two shots is what these guys take. Okay. Ooh, a sword. I'm gonna have at the not too bad. This is just a guy up here. It's a regular guy. Ooh, what have we got here? Just a regular old tome. Oh I died from that. Now will he steal steal? Will he will yeah. will he still be Angry is what I want to know. Why are these guys just walking around? It's a real time minimap as well, it's showing them moving. Very tiny minimap. Oh, he's still coming for me, he's still aggroed. Okay, so dying. Death isn't enough for this guy, okay. So, what's going on there? It feels like I'm not moving at all at certain points, probably because the world just looks very flat. I seem to remember there being like a hidden thing under here. There's nukes! There's mini nukes! Okay. Um. Can I just run by him? I can. I can indeed just run by him. Let's pick up. Sword short. He's gone. I'm gonna commit a war crime, I think, by doing this, but. I think I touched the bomb as it was falling. There's pieces everywhere of these little cute people. Wow. Wowie wow. So I don't think there's a safe distance for me to get away from the nuke. This big giant... Like, <laughs> let's just throw to these guys. That killed me way later than I thought it would. Can I find my own corpse? Who knows, but the, the nuke landed all the way over here. Makes sense, I suppose. Alright, interesting. I think that's everything on this map. There's a lot, there was a lot more to this map than I remembered. Um, let's end this by just getting a bunch of zombies to attack. Let's let's do that. Let's spawn an unfathomable... Unf I can't speak today. I really just can't speak. It's probably gonna lag, but let's let's see how that goes. Or they're just gonna stay still. Oh, no, here they go. They're moving. They're attacking regular people too. Okay, I'm taking damage. Okay, this is laggy as hell. Oh, grab a weapon or something. Oh, this is... It's a lagging nightmare. They are mauling that guy at the back. Oh my god. 
his head just blew up at two frames a second. Oh, it's it's uh, picking up a bit. I don't think the zombies are gonna. I think the zombies are gonna win this. A lot of heads are flying everywhere. Let's get an axe ready or something. Well, I think most of the zombies are just dead. I think I just killed that guard. Don't attack me, man. There's plenty of zombies to go around. This is... this is nuts. So it can handle this many. Okay, so it can handle a fair few. But... Oh, that guy's dead. I am nearly dead. They're actually fighting. They actually are fighting. Which is... I, I, that's really cool. I don't know why that's... That's pretty cool. Is that I bothered to code the zombies and the knights to fight. That's pretty neat. Uh, let's grab a better weapon or something. Can I get a bomb? Arrow? No. A sword? Uh, no, not really. Oh, I got two for them then. If I jump from here, I'm gonna die, so I can't do that. Oh, I'm probably dead. Yep. I think... Yeah, the zombies are all... That guy's stuck. Oh, he's coming for me. It's <laughs> just a pile of green zombies. I've got no weapons. I don't think there's, there's nothing out there. So ideally, there probably would have been more stuff out there as well. Like a little... Like little quests and stuff. But yeah. Um... Ooh. You know what we gotta do. I just lost a lot of health from that. Let's get that double barreled shotgun. There's a guard there. Oh, he was fighting a zombie. Fight. Can, now, will he fight these zombies if he's aggroed on me? They will. He'll prioritize the zombies. They will prioritize each other. That's pretty neat. And he's stuck by the looks of it. He is definitely moving his arms. Well, I think, yeah, I think that's a, that's a pretty fun, this is a massive step up from whatever the hell Cube Dudes was, but it's still not, it's it's still not quite there. It's still not quite there. Maybe, maybe one day I'll make like a stupid fun shooter game, but for now, it's not too bad. But yes, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, if you want to see more of these, there should be a playlist of like different postmortems down below. Um, I've still got a few more games. I have older games I need to cover, so I'll probably be a few more videos here and then while I'm currently got a lot of free time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye bye.